Police Scarlight. What if I told you an African inventor just shocked New York with a car that doesn't need charging stations, gasoline, or even the grid? A car that literally powers itself and could change how the world thinks about Uber, taxis, and the entire transportation industry? Today, we dive into Maxwell Chikumbutso's mind-blowing invention, the self-charging Uber car, and why it's leaving America's biggest city speechless. New York City, famous for its yellow taxis and electric Ubers, just witnessed something it never expected. Onlookers froze as Maxwell Chikumbutso's self-powered Uber rolled silently through the busy streets. No charging cables. No fuel stops. Just an elegant vehicle that seemed to defy logic. Maxwell Chikumbutso is no stranger to bold innovations. The Zimbabwean inventor has already developed electric helicopters, drones, and broadcast transmitters, all powered by his revolutionary green energy technologies. Now, he's targeting one of the world's biggest industries, ride-hailing. By unveiling a self-charging Uber, Chikumbutso isn't just creating a new car. He's introducing a future where ride-sharing never needs gas stations or charging docks again. Chikumbutso's Uber is built on a system that constantly generates and stores its own electricity. Instead of plugging in, the vehicle powers itself on the move. That means unlimited range, no downtime for charging, and dramatically lower costs for Uber drivers and passengers. Imagine booking a ride, and your driver never has to worry about running out of charge in the middle of Manhattan traffic. This isn't just convenience, it's disruption. Eyewitnesses described the demonstration as unbelievable. Taxi drivers were stunned. Tech enthusiasts pulled out their phones to record. Some skeptics even thought it was a publicity stunt until they realized the car kept driving for hours without a single stop. The city that never sleeps had just been awakened by an invention from Africa that could reshape global transport. If scaled, this technology could transform Uber fleets worldwide. No more dependency on fossil fuels. No more expensive charging infrastructure. For cities like New York, London, or Lagos, it could mean cleaner air, cheaper rides, and a massive shift in the balance of automotive power. And here's the bigger twist. This isn't coming from Silicon Valley, Tesla, or Toyota. It's coming from Maxwell Chikumbutso, an African innovator daring to challenge the giants. So here's the question. If Chikumbutso's self-powered Uber goes mainstream, what happens to the oil industry, charging networks, and traditional car makers? What makes Maxwell Chikumbutso's Uber reveal so fascinating is not just the car itself, but the chain reaction it could spark. Uber, Lyft, Bolt. All these companies spend billions managing fleets, charging infrastructure, and fuel costs. Now imagine an Uber fleet that never has to stop for gas, never plugs into a charger, and runs 24-7 with almost zero downtime. For drivers, this could mean higher income. For passengers, cheaper fares. For cities, cleaner streets and reduced grid strain. And for oil companies, a nightmare they've been dreading. Of course, big auto and energy corporations won't just sit back. Giants like Tesla, Toyota, and even ExxonMobil know exactly what this kind of breakthrough could mean. If self-powered vehicles scale up, charging stations, battery swap networks, and even EV subsidies could suddenly look outdated. That's why some experts believe Chikumbutso may face resistance, not from science, but from industry. Because in a world where cars charge themselves, entire trillion-dollar sectors could collapse. And here's why New York matters. This city is more than skyscrapers and taxis. It's a global stage. When something stuns New York, the world pays attention. By choosing the city to showcase his Uber, Chikumbutso wasn't just demonstrating technology. He was making a statement. Sources say Chikumbutso worked quietly with engineers to adapt his self-charging system for Uber's fleet vehicles. The prototype that appeared on the streets of Manhattan looked ordinary on the outside, but under the hood, it carried a secret powerful enough to rewrite history. Even Uber executives are reportedly closely monitoring the development. If talks progress, we could see pilot programs in Africa, the U.S., and beyond sooner than anyone expected. Picture this. Five years from now, you call an Uber in New York. The car arrives, sleek and silent. It drives all day, all night, without refueling or recharging. 
Costs drop. Pollution vanishes. Drivers make more. That's not a dream. That's the future Chikumbutso is daring to build, starting in Africa, now echoing in America's busiest city. News of Chikumbutso's Uber prototype didn't just ripple through New York streets, it exploded across global media. Within hours, social networks were buzzing. Headlines read, African innovator shocks Silicon Valley. Self-charging Uber car disrupts New York. The end of charging stations? Wall Street analysts quickly weighed in. Some dismissed it as a one-off stunt. Others warned investors to brace for disruption, predicting that if the technology is real, billions tied to oil, gas, and even EV infrastructure could evaporate overnight. Inside Tesla's Palo Alto headquarters, whispers began. Elon Musk himself was said to be intrigued and skeptical. After all, Tesla's empire is built on batteries, superchargers, and gigafactories. A self-charging vehicle bypasses all of that. Meanwhile, Toyota, which recently doubled down on hybrid technology, quietly assigned a task force to investigate whether Maxwell's breakthrough could outpace their plans. And in China, where companies like BYD dominate EV manufacturing, state media began asking a dangerous question. Is Africa about to leapfrog us in clean transport? Governments, too, were paying close attention. In Washington, energy advisors warned of a strategic vulnerability. If such cars gain traction, the U.S. would lose leverage in global oil trade. In Europe, climate policymakers saw opportunity, a technology that could slash emissions without massive infrastructure spending. But in Africa, the reaction was pride and celebration. From Harare to Lagos, young engineers began hailing Maxwell as a pioneer who proved African innovation could set the pace for the world. And then there's Uber. For a company that has fought regulatory battles worldwide, this was different. The idea of a self-powered fleet was irresistible. Early reports suggest Uber executives are split. Some see Chikumbutso's idea as a golden ticket, while others worry about the controversy of backing a technology so disruptive it could anger oil giants and governments alike. Still, insiders hint that a confidential meeting between Chikumbutso's team and Uber's leadership may already be in the works. If that happens, we might witness a partnership that redefines ride-hailing forever. But not everyone is cheering. Whispers of sabotage already surround the project. Industry insiders fear that powerful players with trillions at stake might try to bury, discredit, or even block Chikumbutso's technology before it scales. The real question is, will this African-made invention survive the storm that's surely coming? If New York was a statement, this next location would be a challenge to the world's most powerful industries. When whispers spread that Maxwell Chikumbutso wasn't stopping at New York, the world leaned in closer. Which city would he target next? London, the capital of old empires? Dubai, the desert jewel built on oil? Or Shanghai, the manufacturing powerhouse of the EV revolution? Speculation spread across social media like wildfire. Every city represented more than geography. It represented a message. London would challenge Europe's EV policies. Dubai would strike at the very heart of oil wealth. Shanghai would put him head-to-head -head with China's EV giants. And then, a leak hit the press. Maxwell's next stop would be Dubai. Dubai, a city built on oil fortunes, had spent the last decade branding itself as the future capital of clean energy. But to showcase a self-powered Uber in the middle of the Gulf, where oil still rules, was nothing short of revolutionary. Analysts said it was the boldest move yet. One headline screamed, Maxwell to challenge oil kingdom in their own backyard. For Chikumbutso, it wasn't just about technology anymore. It was about symbolism. If his car could run endlessly through Dubai's highways under the burning desert sun, it would prove once and for all that oil was no longer necessary. But with this announcement came threats. Insiders whispered that certain oil magnates had already warned Dubai officials against letting the demonstration happen. There were fears of sabotage, infiltration, or even diplomatic pressure to block Maxwell's entry. Yet, Dubai's rulers, fascinated by innovation and keen on global attention, granted him permission. The date was set. The world's cameras were ready. Back in Zimbabwe, 
Maxwell's team worked tirelessly. Engineers fine-tuned the Uber prototype, upgrading its systems to withstand the extreme desert climate. Cybersecurity experts were brought in to guard against hacking attempts. Even the transportation route in Dubai was kept secret until the very last moment. It felt less like a car showcase and more like a high-stakes mission. As Maxwell boarded his plane, journalists trailed behind, ready to capture history. Social media hashtags exploded. Hashtag Dubai Showdown. Hashtag Maxwell Zuber. Hashtag Africa Rising. The global narrative was no longer about whether his invention worked. It was about whether he could survive the mounting pressure and whether the world would finally accept an African innovator rewriting the rules of energy. By the time Maxwell landed in Dubai, thousands had gathered. The streets buzzed with a mix of curiosity, skepticism, and excitement. Oil executives watched silently from their glass towers. Tech enthusiasts camped out with cameras. Uber drivers from around the region came to witness a future that could reshape their livelihoods. The heat of the desert shimmered on Dubai's highways as the world watched. Cameras lined the roads, drones hovered in the sky, and crowds pressed against barricades. The atmosphere was electric. Then, without warning, the roar of applause erupted. Maxwell Chikambutso stepped out, calm and steady, wearing his signature quiet confidence. Behind him, the self-charging Uber prototype rolled forward, its sleek body gleaming under the desert sun. It looked like any other Uber, but everyone knew it wasn't. Maxwell slid into the back seat, while a local Uber driver took the wheel. Drive, he said simply. And the car moved, gliding through the streets of Dubai with an ease that felt almost surreal. The sight of a self-powered car in the very heart of an oil kingdom was almost poetic. It wasn't just technology at work, it was a direct challenge to the world order. For decades, oil had been the lifeblood of this region. Now, an African innovator was proving that energy could come from somewhere else entirely and endlessly. That same night, in a luxury hotel overlooking the city, a private meeting was held. Representatives of major oil companies, auto manufacturers, and energy investors gathered around a polished table. One executive slammed his fist on the table. This man is dangerous. If his cars spread, the world won't need us anymore. Another leaned in. Then we stop him, one way or another. Unaware of the plotting, or perhaps fully aware and unbothered, Maxwell addressed the press after the demonstration. This is only the beginning, he said, his voice steady. Technology must serve humanity, not control it. We are proving that Africa can lead the world into a new era, one without limits, one without dependence. His words spread instantly, echoing across continents. For many, it was more than a speech. It was a declaration of war against the old systems of power. Rumors swirled that after Dubai, Maxwell planned an even bigger stage, Shanghai, the industrial heart of global EV production. If New York had been a shock and Dubai a direct challenge, then Shanghai would be the ultimate showdown, Africa's innovation versus China's manufacturing empire. The world was no longer just watching. It was holding its breath. Weeks later, Maxwell Chikambutso's plane touched down in Shanghai. By now, the world's eyes were locked on him. New York had been the spark. Dubai had been the defiance. But Shanghai? This was the battlefield of giants. China, home to the world's largest EV industry, was both curious and cautious. On one side stood BYD, NEO, and the sprawling EV empire that powered millions of cars. On the other stood a single man from Zimbabwe with a machine that seemed to rewrite the rules of energy itself. As the prototype rolled through the streets of Shanghai, tens of thousands gathered. The car glided past neon towers and across the Huangpu River, smooth, tireless, and unstoppable. Reporters shouted questions. Engineers scribbled notes. Crowds cheered. And somewhere in that moment, history shifted. By the time the demonstration ended, one truth was undeniable. The self-charging Uber wasn't a myth. It was real. And it worked. Oil prices wobbled. EV stocks plunged. Governments called emergency meetings. Some hailed Maxwell as a hero. Others painted him as a threat.
But the people, drivers, families, students, dreamers, they saw hope. For them, this wasn't just about a car. It was about freedom, from fuel, from wires, from limits. Maxwell returned home to Africa not as a lone inventor, but as a global symbol. He had proven that innovation didn't belong only to Silicon Valley or Europe or Asia. It belonged to anyone bold enough to dream. And while powerful forces still plotted against him, one fact could never be erased. The world had seen his car. The idea was alive. And ideas, once unleashed, cannot be stopped. So when history books are written, they may tell of the moment a quiet African engineer drove a car through New York, Dubai, and Shanghai, and stunned the world into reimagining its future. Because sometimes, revolutions don't come from armies or empires. Sometimes, they come on four wheels. Ziototech, where innovation meets the road. The future of mobility starts here. Only on Ziototech. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating stories about Elon Musk, Maxwell, Tesla, and the future of innovation. Until next time, keep imagining the impossible.